Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to talk about Destiny and MLG. Recently, we've seen a lot of MLG pros like Nade Shot and Flame Sword and a few others doing quote unquote top secret stuff. Well, it's not exactly top secret because they're obviously testing Deadity's, Deadity's, Destiny's competitiveness. So this brings up the question, should Destiny be an MLG game? Well, I asked Twitter what they thought, and I got a mixed bag of, of opinions. Uh, I kind of thought I would, though. Some people for, some people against, and, you know, a little bit of opinions here and there. <coughs> First, uh, let's look at the game. To have Destiny as a competitive game, you need a way to have private matches, and you need private a private lobby system. We didn't see that in the beta, but I wouldn't expect to see it in the beta. I'm not sure if it's going to be available, you know, on release, or if it's going to be patched in later. Um, we we just don't know yet. Uh, next is the issue with gear and stats. In the uh, in most successful MLG games, you know, such as Halo and Call of Duty, the only thing that really matters is weapons and gun skill. Uh, most pros tend to only use one or two different weapons, and each one usually uses a specific set of you know gear perks and whatnot but in destiny you have a lot more uh, you have the aspect of gear and weapons and you know your level stats and things like that so not sure how exactly that's gonna play out next is PvP and how it actually works uh, it sounds stupid but there's several opinions going around on how PvP works. Flame Sword has said that all weapons have the same basic stats and only your defense rating is taken into account, which would basically mean that all weapons, even though they say they do a, a certain amount of damage, actually don't, which I, I tend to disagree with. But again, we'll have to wait for the game to come out to, I guess, fully test that. You know, and then there's others around saying that your gear and weapon stats are taken into account. Uh, and, and, you know, again, the reality is we don't really know for sure. Um, I, I've tried to get an answer from Bungie to find out, and they haven't got back to me. And I can't find anybody else, you know, that those are basically the only two opinions that I could find going around that, you know, seem remotely logical. So now let's look at some aspects here. Destiny as an MLG game would bring really a new element to destiny uh, it would be you know highly entertaining it i think would bring in i don't want to say the call of duty crowd because it's <laughs> depending on where you stand on that that's not really a good thing but you already have some of the first person shooter crowd interested and you have some of the mmo and rpg crowd interested so bringing competitive in there would bring in a whole nother crowd set altogether. You know, if if you've played competitive gaming, uh, you know what else comes with it, and that's the tryhards and the trolls. But they seem to be more prevalent in MLG gaming, so I don't I don't know. Uh, you know, there were comments you know mentioning that specifically about the trolls and the tryhards, and you know I do have to agree that there seem to be a lot more of them when the game's competitive than when it's just a casual game. And then you also have the console issue. Well, it's, I guess it's not technically an issue, but it, it could be. All MLG events are on Xbox. While they have PlayStation ladders, if you want to go to LANs, you need an Xbox One. And Destiny is more so played on PlayStation. Uh, there were some stats just released by a Reddit user. It's unofficial stats, but um, his stats that he got from reddit uh, suggested that there was a uh, fifty percent we're gonna play on playstation four and thirty two percent we're gonna play on xbox one and then ten for three sixty and six for playstation three um, you know that was based on twelve hundred and fifty reviews so you know i guess use that information with a grain of salt so again i'm not sure how that's going to work as far as consoles you know mlg has always been xbox heavy but destiny seems to be more uh you know playstation geared so i'm not sure how if the quote unquote pro scene is going to work with that i do know that deej came out 
and said that if the community wants Destiny in the competitive scene, that they'll put it in there. And if there's one thing Bungie is good at, it's competitive gaming. Uh, I mean, honestly, if it wasn't for Halo, I don't think MLG would be where it is today. But before Destiny can become an MLG game, you know, they're going to need a few things to happen. Uh, which, again, comes down to private lobbies. And, again, we'll have to wait till the game comes out to figure out uh, if that's going to happen. And to figure out the rest, uh, we need more time playing the PvP to actually get a solid understanding of how it's actually going to work. Then we can look at how it, it could be played as a competitive game. I personally would be excited for private lobbies at launch because this would greatly, greatly increase or I guess help me do weapons testing to give you guys more accurate stats but most of this will again have to wait till after the game drops and let me know what you guys think in the comments uh, should Destiny be an MLG game and um, let me know why or why not and until next time guys peace